So I've got some requests to do a tutorial on getting the turret to turn. And it's it's kind of super easy. So um, you're going to be you're going to kick yourself. Let's, let me see how easy this is. So this is the uh, the M1 A1 Abrams model which is working in uh, Unreal Engine 5.0.2 and it seems to work fine. Uh, I'll give you a couple tips on the on the Abrams after we do this turret tu turret tutorial. So if you take a look at your Anim blueprint and you followed my tutorials before, so it should look something like this. And just to get this thing working, the tu the the is just one bone here for the turret. It's like a uh, it's just kind of a horizontal spinning. So really, the bone is just kind of a straight up and down z-axis single bone. So all you really needed for that is at least to test it out. Is this called? It's not coming up. So. You do uh, bone transform, just hook that into the network somewhere in between, <clears throat> and we're just going to do modify, so click on that node, and then within the details here, just you'll find that since this is all, these are, we're using the vigilante kind of assets, uh, their free assets on the Unreal Marketplace store, they're fully rigged. So one of the bones here is called turret joint. So that's what we're going to modify. Just go down to rotation and make sure rotation mode is set to replace existing. And just to play around for a second, change this pin to like unclick exposes pin and it's going to go to a bind and you're going to see that well I hope we'll see this I hope you're going to see that uh, this rotation wasn't it? oh I'll compile first and then you should see that if you rotate this Z axis you're getting the turret spinning. Okay. So how do we get that working with in-game when you press a key that the turret spins? So the way I want to go about this is when I press Q and E, the turret's going to spin back and forth. There's a couple of ways you can set it up. Like you can attach the turret to your camera. Um, but I like to kind of take a look at my camera and uh, like shift around and look at the turret when it's spinning. So you need to create a, I think I've already done it, but one of the first things you need to do is um, go into your project settings. And here's my, where my project settings showed up right here. So go into your product, project settings under input. You're going to add an axis mapping by pressing this little plus here. Now I've added it right here, so I'm just going to delete it. Okay, let's do that again. So you press action mappings here, the little, or, <laughs> yeah, wrong one. Axis, axis mappings little plus, call it something like turret, and then I'm going to use, click on the keyboard, press E, and then add another one for the opposite axis, keyboard, press Q, scale it to minus one, or the second one to minus one. Okay, done there.
oh, oops, uh, done there. Click the little, click out of the tab. Now go back into your regular your blueprint where you're actually doing your all your control scheme, and no, add that, add those actions in. So that's called turret, right? Axis event. Okay, that's what what I want. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm going to create a variable named turret. Okay, it's going to be a float. So what I'm going to do is basically we're going to be turning the turret, but every time I press the axis, I want to get where that turret is at. I don't want the turret to go back every time. So you take the turret and the axis of kind of how much you want to turn, move the turret, and then I just, what I do is just add them together. Just like that. And then set the value of turret again. Okay. So that's not going to go directly to the to change the uh, animation yet. Just save it. What we need to do is actually we need to uh, do something within the anim graphs event graph. And that what that is is this event graph has to kind of track what's going on with the um, blueprint that we're using to control uh, the turret. So what we want to do is we want to take this variable, the state of this variable that's in a different blueprint, and we want to kind of make it do something in this other bl blueprint. So when you kind of take variables from other blueprints, you need to use what's called uh, so uh, a cast. So like if I do a cast, cast to that blueprint, and it's actually called chaos uh, tank 2. So I'm just going to, um, so every time that it's animated, so um, I think it's uh, time it's an event animation event anim oh event blueprint update animation okay so we'll use this kind of it's like a tick uh, in a way and it has a little delta time on that so we're going to need that later so every time the animation is updated we're going to basically take from that blueprint but it's an instance of that blueprint. So you, what you do is you do a, tr it's called try get pawn owner. So we're getting kind of like the, I'm not totally up on what exactly goes on with casting, but I'm learning. So, but yeah, we're getting the pawn that's instantiated, I guess, for that, in, that um, blueprint and we're going to take, so as chaos tank two, we're going to take one of the variables from it and it's called turret, right? Get turret. So we're taking the turret and then we're just going to set from this cast, we're going to set the turret as um, just another variable that our anim graph can look at. So let's just call it, uh, I'm just going to add one in, I'm just going to call it like um, turret move, just so we can fool around with it all we want. Make it a float. Okay. Oops. Let me drag this in. Um, set turret move. Okay. So just, so if we just kind of plug it in like that and then go back to our transform that we were playing around with earlier, remember how we kind of, 
are able to move this back and forth? Well, for that Z one, instead of bind, we'll go expose as pin. And then what you can do is you can like right click this rotation and then split the pin. And then just drag in this turret move, get turret, connect it to there. So instead of like uh, manipulating it here, then we're doing it in the game. Now it should it should actually compile so or and um, make the tank move when we press Q and E like that. So you see, I press so I'm pressing Q, I'm pressing E. It's kind of janky. Uh, so if you want to smooth it out, I'll show you another trick to smooth it out. See, it's kind of every time I press it, I can't hold it. I can hold it down, but it's kind of very. It's not very smooth. So. Um, what you can do to make it smoother is you do what's called a um, this is called a f in, interp f interp two. So basically, what this does is this this is going to take the current state of the of the turret, like where the turret exists. Okay, and that's the current state. And then our target state is where we're trying to direct the turret to go. So that's that one. Um, and then, actually, I hope this is this should be set up right. Right. Yes. Okay. Um, but our return value is going to be to set the turret um, variable. But the, and then you can take this delta time from the animation here. And then interp speed, I played around with this. I'm not sure exactly how this works, but I just pressed, um, I hit one in there. It seems like it's faster the higher the number is. So now if you try that, press play, and you press, like, you're going to get a uh, Q and E, you're going to get like smoother, smoother movement, see? And kind of eases in and out. Yeah, and that's it. So cool. Now I can drive around and all I want and move my turret around. Oh, do we have a skid? Bob's your uncle. All right. If you want to know how I got this Abrams uh, tank working in this thing, uh, there's a bit of a like a little bit of a trick to it, because my previous where I supplied the code for this, my previous tutorial, we used the SPG, and the actual SPG. If you were messing around with this. Um, so the SPG code that's kind of included in um, the links goes uh, this uh, this mapping of the bones is actually a little bit different. It actually is called left wheel two joint. There's no zero in there. So, and the other thing is that the um, when you uh, link the bones it's left wheel two joint and then like in the SPG it's different it's like left wheel three so it goes for the SPG it's two to three and then three to four four to five but the actual Abrams makes a little bit more sense where it's left wheel two left wheel two track left wheel three left wheel three track right wheel two right wheel two track so it makes a little bit more sense but uh, you're going to have to change all those to the proper bone names for the um, Abrams tank. And just takes a little bit more elbow grease to get it going. So that's all I got for you. And should be, it seems fairly straightforward. Well, good luck.